perfect segue to what I want to talk about now, which is teachers, right? There's something I'm very passionate about. For, firstly, I would think for a few reasons. Number one is because being a Hindu, if you ask any Hindu this, uh, they will tell you that we have a list of priority in life. So it's, it goes mother, father, teacher, then God. So God comes after a teacher. And uh, in my experience, you know, I told you one story. There's another story I'd like to share is I had a teacher, I forgot her name. I grew up in a very small town. Oh, in you uh, forgot? Because it was, I think I was standard one, I think. I can't remember. Okay. And uh, I grew up in this very small town called Triang. I don't know. It was called Mantaka in Pahang. Ah. And so we had a school and that school only had six classrooms. Each classroom for each Daja. And uh, so I was the only non-Muslim, non-Malay in that school. No one else, right? So whenever there was time for uh, Agama class, I would leave. So one day this teacher comes up to me and says, Hey, just just sit in, why don't sit in? And I did. And this Ustaza taught me one thing which I carry on even till to this day. Mm. She said, uh, and, and I even learned Islam to the point I, I could recite prayers and all that, Al-Fatiha, everything. And then she taught me, she said, whatever knowledge you have is equivalent to dipping your finger into the ocean. And the water on your finger, that's the knowledge you have. And that sentence till today is why I read and I always assume I don't know everything. So that's, that's how powerful teachers are. Okay, Teachers are... Crazy. They are superheroes. Honestly, let me tell you, they are superheroes, right? And I completely agree. They are superheroes, but they need support. Exactly. (laughs) So you have under your group, one of your arm is you have a teacher's training arm, which you have, which I really like, right? You are improving the the supply of teachers in your own uh, ecosystem, which I love. I don't think that uh, the current way we select teachers is right. I don't think everyone can be a teacher. Before, when I talk to you, I get the sense of passion and love for your job. Even before this, I spoke to Dr. Rafia, who is also a teacher, and I got that sense from her. I don't think all teachers share that. They just look at it as a career. Should we change the way we select the teachers who enter our our education system? Should we focus on glamorizing this position and giving it the respect and the salutation that it actually deserves, as opposed to making it seem like just a career to choose if you don't do well in your studies? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. I agree with you. You know, that's why I use the word superhero then. Yeah. But don't, don't, don't overburden the superhero. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, yeah, because um, you see, I, maybe I go to the preschool level. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Preschool level, uh, sometimes teachers are seen uh, as a helper, a maid, mm. you know, like uh, especially if it's a care, a daycare center, you mm. know. But they shouldn't. They are teachers. They are nurture. They are, yeah. they are nurturing yeah. uh, each child. Mm. You know. Uh, yeah. They, see the thing about whether we glamorize it uh, or we put it in a high pedestal. I think we've done that. We have put that high pedestal. At the end of the day, is the whole ecosystem. You know, it begins from the whole ecosystem, from from where we start from the from the primary, secondary, uh, and so on. Do we actually look at teachers being the pathway where people want to be? Mm. You know, or along the way, you know, uh, we actually make them see that teacher is a teacher's career to be a teacher is actually just a small ambition. Mm. Yeah. You know? I think that's how we see it now. Uh-huh. Yeah. So so I think it, it starts from uh, from preschool because um, I, I, I've noted somewhere here. Yeah. Okay. If we are serious about education, we should start by supporting the early childhood education. Mm. Support the early childhood education. We support, you see, early childhood education uh, in our country is not really supported. Mm. Uh, it's not really like, like, like really being fully supported. When we talk about education system, it's always about, you know, the tertiary, tertiary and, uh, or yeah. maybe uh, at the, you know, uh, SPM. We, mm. we glamorize the SPM results, mm-hmm, you know. Mm-hmm. But we don't really talk about the early childhood that much, mm. you know. Uh, so when we want to glamorize, we should begin from there. Mm. We, we show that, you know, the sp- strong support is given from there for mm. these educators at early childhood level. Then, you know, along the way, they will bring in their mind that this is honorable. This is really something that they aspire to be. Mm. You know, mm. this is something that is uh, given much respect. Mm. You you talk a lot about uh, resources in terms of giving support for teachers. I was reading, there was one professor, Tansi Dr. T. Marimutu, who's the adjunct professor at the School of Education and Cognitive Sciences at Asia E University. It, 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 with regards to what you even mentioned, the PISA score, he said, I would not want to blame the teachers because we already have many who are resigning because they cannot take the load. So when you have statements like this, that teachers are resigning because they cannot take the load, 
where are we going wrong in the way that we are treating teachers? What kind of support can we give them to ensure that this kind of issues are solved in terms of them resigning, in terms of improving their workload? Mm-hmm. Uh, I think I, it goes back to the earlier part when I say, when I touch on the direction needs to be clear. Mm. The goal needs to be clear. You see, whenever we have, sorry to say this, but whenever we have new ministers coming in, yeah. we have something new yes, yes. to add up. Yeah. Uh, this is quite, you know, known. Mm. Uh, if, if we have uh, a new announcement uh, of something to be added, we add the burden to the teachers. Yeah. Let's yeah. say, um, uh, you know, somebody talk about, oh, okay, um, we need to talk about um, uh, road safety. Mm. Road safety, you know, children nowadays, they, they play bicycle, <laughs> rah, 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 you know, they, they need to know about road safety. Tara, put it in school. Okay. You know, we, we keep on adding and then we have so many subjects, mm-hmm. you know, so many subjects. And uh, in the end, it feels not clear. If the direction is clear, if the education direction is clear, uh, simple, clear that even uh, any aunties in the remote village can understand, then I think it will be easier. It's not about the workload. I think it's not about workload, but it's about the clarity. You feel the workload when you are not clear. Mm, I think in, in any career, you don't mind having to work you know to to have much work as long as you're clear as then because then you will feel the passion mm. you know why you are doing it the why mm, the nah? why, the why. Yeah. yeah you know why you're doing yeah. it uh then then you can actually plan your workload accordingly but of course uh, anything that is over expectation that put on the teachers it is a result from something that's not clear mm. i ask you now if mm. you can answer me what you know because you have children you're a father right and you you've met people from education can you tell me what's the direction of our education? I do not know. Yeah. Which it's is why that, I'm worried. Yeah. yeah. It's not that there is no direction. There is. And and we have good good people in the ministry, you know. But maybe it um, it's not reaching out yet for, mm. for every people to understand. Maybe it's not clear enough mm-hmm. for everyone to understand. Fair enough. Even for me. Yeah. <laughs> even you as a teacher. Even even for me, you know, like Hence, but we're private, so so we make our own direction. Mm. In other words, okay, this is what we want to focus on. Like for example, Idrisi International School. Okay, so you know we know what's the strength of our students, so that's how what we focus on. You know.